we give you praise. We give you honor. We welcome all our online family in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray that God take absolute control today. Take absolute control, Father. <clears throat> Let this lips of clay speak your word. Speak a word in season. Use me for your glory, O oh God. Use me for your glory. Use me for your purpose in the mighty name of Jesus. Now I have been mandated by the man of God to speak on Isaiah chapter 66 because we have started our supernatural delivery fasting. Hallelujah. Our supernatural delivery fasting. Hallelujah. We believe that in this month of fruitfulness, we are going to deliver every seed that God has placed upon our lives. We are going to have a supernatural delivery. Hallelujah. We are going to have a spiritual encounter like never before in the name of Jesus. You are all welcome into the presence of the Lord. God bless you for coming. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, please let's share a word of prayer before I go into the word. Father, I want to thank you. I want to give you praise and give you honor for today. Let your glory be revealed. Let your might be revealed. Let your power be revealed like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus, we give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. We thank you, Abba Father, Lord, as we go into your word, O oh Lord, speak to us. Speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Now, today we'll go into prayer because we are starting our fasting today. But I'll go briefly into the word of God, which is our Bible verse for the supernatural delivery. So please let's open our Bibles to Isaiah chapter 66, 7 to 10. We bless your name. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 66, verse 7. I read. Before she traveled, she mm. brought forth. She brought forth. Before her pain came, she was delivered to him a male child. Mm -hmm. Verse 8. Who had heard such a thing? Who had said such a thing? Who had seen such a thing? Mm -hmm. Shall the earth be made to bring forth in one day? Mm -hmm. Or shall the nation be born at once? Mm -hmm. For as soon as Zion travels, as soon as Zion travels, she brought forth her children. She brought forth her children. Verse nine: mm. Shall I bring to the birth mm -hmm. and not cause to bring forth? And not cause to bring forth. Says the Lord: mm. Shall I cause to bring forth? Yeah. And shut the womb. And shut the says womb. the Lord: mm -hmm. Rejoice ye, jo rejoice ye with Jerusalem, mm -hmm. and be glad with her. Yeah. And all ye that love her, yeah. rejoice for with her. All ye that mourn for her. All that mourn for her. Hallelujah. We give God praise. Say, shall I bring to birth and not give the strength for you to have that child? Hallelujah. We are going to look at the supernatural, uh, meaning of supernatural. We are going to look at the delivery as well. I mean, for some of us who are here, we are mothers and we know how delivery is. And we know how to take a seed and incubate that seed and to carry that child for nine months. And when it comes to that time, when the child has to be delivered we experience certain uncomfortability we experience certain pain we experience certain contractions things that will cause the child to be bad says have you heard such a thing that as before she was even in labor she gave birth it says that before her pain even came on her i mean in physical terms when you want to have a, a, a child it says the pain enables the um the 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 the, the um, what i mean when the pain is, is more or when the pain is consistent, it means that the child is coming or the baby is coming. But here it says that who has heard such a thing? Who has seen such things? Shall the earth be made to give birth in one day? day and it says or shall a nation be born at once we know that the community or a nation cannot be born at once in the human mind but it says can a nation be born at once and what did it say it said, for as soon as zion travel as soon as zion was in labor she gave birth to her children so i shall bring to the time of birth and says shall i bring to the time of birth and not cause delivery says the lord shall i who cause delivery shut up the womb says your god rejoice with jerusalem and be glad with her all you who love her rejoice with joy with her all who mourn for her hallelujah now when we talk about supernatural we talk about things that cannot be explained according to the natural laws these are miraculous things these are supernatural it goes beyond the physical realm these are things that it accepts the lord intervenes it brings that supernatural atmosphere and it brings that supernatural breakthroughs it brings that which in the realm of the physical or in the realm 
kingdom of the earth, it looks impossible. So our mind cannot comprehend. How can a nation be born in a day? How can a pain just come even before that pain comes? But naturally, it says that even when you are pregnant, that pain causes that birth, that contractions. It helps that child to be delivered. It helps that child to come out. So it's important that you experience that contraction. It's important that you experience that pain because as a result of the pain, the cervix is open for the child to come out. But it says that can this be? So it means that there are certain circumstances that we find ourselves in. Except the Lord builds. Except the Lord watches. Except the Lord intervenes. That is what we see that supernatural shift. Except the realm of heavenlies. We pray for that realm to be seen in the physical realm. For, for it to, to shift certain things in the realms of the physical. Hallelujah. Except God intervenes. Hallelujah. And today we are going to believe God for that supernatural delivery. I don't know what seed that God has placed in your life. I don't know what seed that you are pregnant with. It could be an idea. It could be a ministry. It could be a seed that God has given you. It could be whatever that God has given you as a seed. Today we are going to pray for that delivery because this is the ninth month. For me, I am very desperate for God. I'm asking God, Father, every situation I find myself must shift. I need to see the hand of God in my situation. I need the visitation of the Most High God. I need a supernatural turnaround in my situation. Bible says that Elijah, he was a man with passion like us. But Bible says that he prayed and there was no rain and there was rain. Hallelujah. The Bible says that even when he prayed and he prayed and he sent the servant, he says, go and look whether there is any sign of what I'm praying for. And the servant kept going. And the servant kept going. Bible says that he went seven times. And when he went and he came back and he said that I see a hand very small. He says, yes, that is enough. I can work with that. Now I can travel in prayer. And Bible says that he went into a position of traveling. And he began to travel until that, that seed, that little sign was better. You know, when a seed is incubated, it is very small. Even when it's a child, it's like a fetus. So it's very small. So when it's incubated, it is nourished. It is fed until it grows. Until it comes to a time that needs to be better. And when that time comes, nobody will tell you that the time has come. So some of you are experiencing some uncomfortability. You are experiencing some frustration. You are experiencing some pain. God is calling you into traveling prayer. He said, get up. There's something that I put inside of you. That the nation is waiting for you. There's something that I put inside of you. That globally they are waiting for you. There's something that I put inside of you. There's a healing anointing. There's a ministry I put inside of you. There's a supernatural natural thing that I put inside of you. There is a seed that I have grown inside of you. So begin to put yourself in a birthing position and birth through the pain. You can only birth through the pain. You can only birth through the frustration. Let that frustration shift you into the will of God. Let that pain shift you into the purpose of God. For yeah, the set time, it is now. The set time to favor you, it is now. The set time to spare that ministry, it is now the set time it is now and especially in this month of fruitfulness uh, there is a blessing upon your life uh, as genesis said uh, you be ye fruitful uh, and multiply uh, it is a command uh, it is a decree uh, that god has placed upon your life uh, so you cannot stand uh, you cannot sit uh, when things are not being fruitful uh, we need to go back into prayer we need to position ourselves in travel we need to put our head down uh, and believe god uh, for progress. Uh, believe God uh, for the visitation of the hand of God. Believe God for the supernatural delivery in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's give a clap offering unto Jesus. Hallelujah. This is the doing of God. Hallelujah. So we have looked at the supernatural. We say it's a thing that cannot be explained according to the natural law and the miracles. Before she gave birth, it says usually there is a long period of development before a group of people comes become a nation. But the new nation Israel will appear suddenly and unexpectedly. Your miracle shall appear suddenly and unexpectedly by the supernatural hand of God upon your life. Hallelujah. Whatever you're believing God for in this season, we release that supernatural intervention in the mighty name of Jesus. And we are praying that in this season, we will experience the supernatural shift of God like never before in the name of Jesus. Here, Zion, 
is not only depicted as the daughter, but as a mother of his people. Hallelujah. The Lord is good. And when we go to the verse 9, it says that, Shall I bring to the birth, time of birth, and not cause delivery, says the Lord? Shall I who cause delivery shut up the womb, says your God? Whatever word God has spoken concerning your life, it shall come to pass. And when you have come to the time of birth, the Lord will give you that strength, that supernatural intervention for you to birth that which he is calling you to birth in the season. It says God finishes whatever that he starts. Can we please open our Bibles to Philippians 1 chapter 6. Whatever God has begun in your life, he would finish it. He would intervene. When you have come to that time and that season, there are seasons that you come to and nothing can stop you. You are unstoppable. It does not matter whether you, you pray 24 hours. There are times that we pray. There are times that we study the word. There are times that we push. But there are seasons also when there's that supernatural hand of God upon your life. Things begin to work out of your hand. Things begin, you, you could see that this one is the doing of the Lord. This one goes beyond human imagination. You have a diagnosis, you go to the hospital and they can't find anything in your body. You, 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 you go through situations and all of a sudden doors are beginning to open for you. That idea is coming. That creativity is coming. You know you have stepped into that season. It could be the approval of God. It could be a season of favor for you. And there's nothing that you have done. It goes beyond your knowledge. It goes beyond your abilities. It can only be by the hand of God. It can only be by the hand of God. And today I pray that let that supernatural hand of God fall upon our lives. In, the name of Jesus. in every area of our lives. And may that supernatural hand of God shift us into our destiny at the right time. In the name of Jesus. May our purposes be unveiled in, the in this name of season. Jesus. May the hand of God and the will of God be unveiled in our lives in never before. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. Philippians chapter 1 verse 6. Be confident of this very thing. Be confident of this very thing. That he which had begun a that good he work who has begun a good work in you in you will perform it. Will perform it until the day of Jesus until Christ. Until the day of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. It says, be confident. Other version, being confident of this. That whoever it says, being confident of this, that he who has begun a good work in you will carry it into completion until the day of Jesus Christ. So it means that the purposes of God concerning our lives, the word of God concerning our lives, the Bible says that the word of God, when it's released, it never returns to him void. It means that it comes with an assignment. So it is for us to believe. It is for us to hold on to the word. It is for us to, it is for, for, to ponder, to meditate on it, and for us to become one with the word. Now, Father, thou sayest your word, that I need to be confident in you you that as you have begun this good work in me you would be you you are faithful to bring it unto completion hallelujah so coming back to the night shall i bring to the time of birth and no cause delivery says the lord shall i who cause delivery shut up the womb says your god it is impossible god will not bring you to a time of birth and not give you the strength to birth hallelujah god would always bring you to that time and that season and he will place a release of he release his supernatural hand upon your life to overcome in the mighty name of jesus now when we go to the 10 it says that as the birth of a baby there is much rejoicing of the birth of a new nation as well and as the baby grows strong and active because one because god is the one that nourishes it under the controlling hand of god when it comes to tell, it says, rejoice with jerusalem and be glad with her all you who love her rejoice for joy with her all you who mourn for her hallelujah it is your time of rejoicing after you have birthed the miracle after you have birthed that season after you have birthed that ministry it is now time for rejoicing hallelujah because whatever god has said concerning your life it shall come to pass it shall be birthed hallelujah today we are going to go into the birthing room we are going to position ourselves we are going to travel we are going to travel until christ is formed in us we are going to travel until we see the purposes of god concerning our life we are going to stand and travel for our family we are going to stand and travel for the purposes of god in our life 
We are going to travel and war with the word of prophecy that has come upon our lives. We are going to travel and, 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 and seek the face of God like never before in this season. Hallelujah. Bible says that when Hannah went into the temple, she traveled. She traveled to the point that there was no words for her to even speak. And the Bible also makes us to understand that the Holy Spirit helps us to groan groanings. You know, when you travel, there are times when you stand in prayer and you travel, you just hear, ah, ah. that's all that you can hear. You're travailing and in the realms of the spirit as you travel, there are great things that's being birthed because when we're speaking in tongues, you're speaking mysteries. There's a release of the supernatural. There's a release of angels. Things that our eyes cannot see. So as we stand in the gap and as we travel, we travel until Christ is formed. We travel that there will be a release in the earth realm. We travel for the supernatural to be here in the mighty name of Jesus uh, like never before. Father, we bless you. We thank you in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, and today we decree and declare that whatever anyone is contending with, as we stand to travel, let the waters break. Let the limit break. Let everything that will stand on our way, let it begin to break. We shall not come to a point of birth and not have the strength to birth. So today we are going to believe God for the supernatural strength to to birth that vision, to birth that idea in the mighty name of Jesus. It could be a seed, it could be an idea, it could be something that keeps going back and forth. You see glimpses of a miracle and then it's short-lived. You see glimpses of door opening and then it's short-lived. Today, all these doors, we are going to pray for them to open by the power of the Most High God. And we are going to partner with the Holy Spirit. We are going to partner with our faith until we see the glory of God. We are going to partner with our faith until we see the hand of God in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless you. We give you praise. We give you honor in the name of Jesus. Let's begin to speak in tongues. Hallelujah. Begin to pray that Father in the name of Jesus, oh God, even as I have heard your word in Jesus' mighty name, let the supernatural hand of God be released into our service today by the power of the most high God. Let there be a shift, oh God. Let there be a paradigm shift let there be a shift, oh God, in our lives in the name of Jesus. Malika bo sekepea, ele braka basoko toboshia, enta la braba kaboha, ele kaboria babaha, eye braba kabaya baha, eye braba kabaya baha, eye makabora babaha, ele kabara baba seketea, masinta ya braha, e kabara babaha, e makabo seketea, ele kabara babaha, mantele breka babaha, eye kabraba kabaha, e ya braba kabaha. Eya braba kababaha, eya baya babaha, eya braba kababaha, eya braba kababaha, mantele bre kababaha, eya bara babaha, eya braba kababaha, menta la babaha. In the name of Jesus, we pray. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Sometimes your seed, the seed that is given you, we need to go through a process, a time for it to be nurtured properly. So you realize that when, uh, uh, that when as a woman you take a seed. That child or that baby is nourished. In the placenta, there is a lot. But I mean, when you read or when you study, it shows that even the baby gets the best of what you eat for it to be nourished. So sometimes that seed needs to go through that process, that time, take that time to be nurtured properly before it breaks forth before it breaks out uh, and shows signs in the future coming into visible reality. And God always plants seeds of incredible destiny into people who are nowhere near the person they need to be. So sometimes God gives you a vision or sometimes God gives you a word of prophecy and you look at your situation and it looks nothing like the word of God concerning your life. God is saying, I'll make you a great person. At the time, you don't see yourself as a great person. God is saying that I have made you to prosper and grow in wealth. At the time, you didn't look seem, seem like you had any wealth or any money at all. But that is the word of God and that is a seed that we hold on to. So we nourish it in prayer. We nourish it and pour our faith on it. And hallelujah. And says that who are nowhere near the person they need to be in order to actually fulfill their destiny at the moment. And God plants something in you that is much bigger than who you currently are. I don't know what the word of God concerning in your life, but I know that you are the head and not the tail. I know that you are blessed. 
I know that you shall prosper in all that you find your hands to do. And that is the word of God concerning your life. And that is the word of God concerning my life. What has God said to you in your closet, in your prayer closet? What is the word of prophecy that God has spoken to you? Some of us, God has said, I'm going to send you to the nations. He says, you're going to go global. You're looking at yourself and say, I can't even pick up a mic to speak. But God said, if you believe me and you trust me and you water that seed, that word that I have spoken, you shall see it come to pass. So it does not matter who I am now. It does not matter where I stand now. But if I can only see through the eye of faith and believe the word of God, I shall attain that which God is giving me in this season. Hallelujah. An example of that person is Joseph. When Joseph had that dream, he looked nothing like the dream. And even when he was saying it, his brothers were mocking him. There was no way that you, you have older brothers, you could attain such thing. But in the end, even though that seed, when he came, it did not come straight forward. He had to go through a process. He was put in a pit. He was put in the prison. He was falsely accused. But in the end, that dream came to pass. Somebody like David as well, when he was anointed as king, he had to be running into caves. He, he didn't look anything like the king. He had been anointed by someone. And in those days, for somebody like Samuel to come out with a horn to come and anoint you was a big deal. It was a great thing. But then amongst all his siblings, he was somewhere on the field. He did not look anything like a king. And I think when Samuel even went into the house, as human beings, we look by sight. So might have looked at the brothers and said, surely it is you. And the Lord says, no, surely it is you. And the Lord says, no, God knows the seed that he has implanted in you. It does not matter whether you're young or you're old, but God has placed something great within us. And today we are going to pray. We are going to pray on these words of prophecy. We are going to pray on these seeds uh, that has been implanted within us. Uh, in a mighty shall surely come to pass. Every word of God shall surely come to pass. Can we please open our Bibles to First Kings? 18 41 to 46. First Kings 18 41 to 46. First Kings chapter 18, verse 41 to 46. 46. And Elijah said to Ahab, mm -hmm. Get up thee, mm -hmm. eat and drink. For there is a sound of abundance of rain. There is a sound of abundance of rain. Verse 42. So Ahab went up and eat and to drink. Mm -hmm. And Elijah went up to the top of Camel. And he cast himself down upon the earth. Mm -hmm. And he put his face between his knees. Mm -hmm. And he said to his servant, Go up now, look towards the sea. And he went up mm -hmm. and looked and said, There is nothing. And he said, Go again seven times. Verse 44, and it came to pass at the seventh time that he said, Behold, there, there arise a little cloud mm -hmm. out of the sea, mm -hmm. like, the, like a man's hand. And, and he said, Go up, said to Ahab, Prepare thy chariots, and get, and get thee down, that the rain stop thee not. Verse 45, and it came to pass. And it came to pass. In the meanwhile, mm -hmm. that the heavens was black with cloud and wind, and there was a great rain. And Ahab rode and went to Jezreel. And the hand and the hand of the Lord was upon Elijah, and he great and he greeted his leons and ran before Ahab to the entrance of Jezreel. Hallelujah. God bless you, Brother Thomas. That is awesome. Hallelujah. That is awesome. I'm going to unpick it one by one. So this was the time that there, were, there had been drought. And then Elijah was praying for them to come out of the drought. And says, then Elijah said to Ahab, go up, you go and eat. For there is a sound. And he had not seen, but he, he decreed that there is a sound of abundance of rain. And so Ahab went and Elijah went up on top of the camel. Now in this season, we are going to make declarations. And we make that declarations and we go into the bathing position. He made that declaration. It says, for there is a sound of an abundance of rain. There is a sound of God's intervention in this season. There is a sound that God is going to release the supernatural. There is a sound of God's power that is being outpoured on the earth in the mighty name of Jesus. Upon his sons and upon his daughters. In the name 
name of Jesus and said to his servants, go up now, look toward the sea. So he went up, looked and said, there is nothing. Seven times, persistently. Sometimes we need to be persistent. Sometimes we need to hold on to the word of God. Sometimes we need to be strong and have that faith in the word of God. He says, there is that sound. And then he, persist, he persisted and said, go, keep going. He went first time. He went second time, seventh time. He did not give up. He did not waver. Then 44, then it came to pass the seventh time that he said, there is a cloud as small as a man's hand rising out of the sea. So he said, go up and say to Ahab, prepare your chariot and go down before the rain stops you. Hallelujah. Now it happened in the meantime that the sky became black with clouds and the wind and there was a heavy rain. So Ahab rode away and went to Jezreel. Then the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah. Hallelujah. May the hand of God come upon us in the mighty name of Jesus to attain that which he has purpose for us to attain. May the hand of God come upon us today as we go into this birthing position in the mighty name of Jesus. May that same hand of God reveal the realm of the supernatural to us in the mighty name of Jesus. And may our eyes be revealed. May our eyes be open in the realms of the spirit to see the deep things of God. May our understanding be enlightened uh, that we may understand the things of the spirit in the mighty name of Jesus. It says, then the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he gathered up his loins, ran ahead of Ahab to the entrance of Israel. God is always faithful to his word. Whatever he has said he will do. I pray that God gives us the grace and the patience to wait. I pray that God gives us the tenacity to persevere. I pray that God helps us that when we have come to a place of birthing or we have come to a season when things don't look like what God has told us, we'll be able to stand and withstand the wind. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus. So Elijah did not waver. He persisted with consistency and he had an expectation. He had an expectation. He knew that God would come through for him in that season in the mighty name of Jesus. Now we want to be upstanding as we go into prayer. We are going to spend the next 20 minutes in prayer. We are going to believe God for the hand of God to move in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. We are praying that Father cause us to hear the sound the sound of the heavens and the realms of the spirit. We are praying that, Father, Lord, uh, let the supernatural hand of God be revealed unto us this day by the power of the Most High God. In Jesus' mighty name, let's begin to pray. Father, we bless you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. My father, my father, God, as I come before you this day, oh Lord, and as you have spoken your word, let there be signs and wonders, oh God. Let there be signs and wonders, oh Father. Let there be divine manifestation of your word in our lives like never before. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, we pray for your divine supernatural intervention. We pray for your supernatural intervention. We pray for a shift oh God, in our lives like never before in the mighty name of Jesus a sound a sound a sound let there be a sound from the heavens let the heavens be open unto us this day by the power of the most high God let there be a supernatural shift a release a release from the heavens let there be a release as we position our as we take the birthing posture, let that be a birthing in the realms of the spirit. Every seed of God that we have incubated, every seed of prophecy, every seed of God, any business idea, every seed of ministry, every seed of prosperity, every seed of wealth, the Lord in the name of Jesus, everything you have given us. 
the season of violence. We pray by the power of the Most High God. Maleka Baraba. Cause that business to be birthed. Cause that ministry to be birthed. Cause that purpose to be birthed. In the realms of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus. Let that divine idea be birthed. Let that healing be birthed. Let that child be birthed. It is time, Lord. It is time, Lord. As we stand in the name of Jesus. Let every drought situation give way to the reign of God. In the name of Jesus. Hear me, all hear me. The prophetic word of God concerning our lives. It shall surely come to pass. It will no longer delay. As we stand in prayer. Lord, as we grow and as we travel. Let pride be formed in us. Let pride be formed in us. Let every word of prophecy that is spoken concerning us. Let it come to pass in this season. Let it come to pass in this season. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Let the voice of God be loud in this season. Let the voice of God be loud in this season. In the name of Jesus. 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 We are birthing, we are birthing. Alei kaboria ha, makabaya braha, makabos sete ya braha, ne ya baria baba ha. Let the business idea be birthed in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the power ministry be birthed. Let the church be birthed in the name of Jesus, O God. Makabos sete ya braha. We pray, Lord, let every word that is spoken concerning our lives receive divine manifestation. Receive divine manifestation. In the name of Jesus, we shall see the hand of God. We shall see the supernatural hand of God. We shall experience the healing power of God. We shall experience divine strength. We shall experience divine intervention. In the mighty name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we prayer, we travel in prayer this morning, oh God, in the name of Jesus, multiplication, oh God, multiplication, let there be multiplication, let the fruitfulness, oh God, make a bow, seketeya, make a bayaha, we decree and declare that we shall be fruitful on every side, we shall multiply on every side, we decree and declare that the glory of God is released upon our lives in the name of Jesus. Jesus, we decree and declare that the supernatural hand of God is causing us to birth great things. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. He says, shall I bring you to bed and not give you the strength to bed? We want to pray against any conspiracies, any contentions. Because sometimes when you have come, the enemy can sense an atmosphere of that birthing. He knows sometimes when you're pregnant, you realize that there's a particular pregnancy, this child, there's something about this child. From the, from the time that you took that seed to the time that you birthed, this pregnancy is unique. It looks like there's something, there's always something about this child that you need to consistently stay in the presence of God for it to be birthed. And that is, that child would be on a divine assignment. 
assignment. Now you want to pray that let every contention, let every conspiracy against the birthing of my vision, against the birthing of that which God has placed concerning my life, in this city be broken. In the mighty name of Jesus, begin to contend with anything that is contending with you. In the name of Jesus, I pray, let the power of God that is awake in your hands cause you to break through every contention, break through every conspiracy, break through every limit in the name of Jesus. Let every contention be broken. Let every conspiracy in the realms of the spirit of oh God be destroyed right now in the name of Jesus, oh God. But let the will of God prevail. Let the hand of God prevail. Let the, hand of God prevail. Let the word of God prevail in the season. Every word you have spoken, we call it for them. We call it into being. Let it prevail. Let it prevail by the power of the most high God. Let the will of God prevail. Let the word of God prevail. We superimpose the power of God. We superimpose the will of God. We superimpose everything that God is doing in this season over anything that is not of God. In the name of Jesus, as we take our place, as we take our authority in the realms of the spirit, let the contention break. Let the limit break of our minds. Let the limit break of our vision, our eyes, our perspective. Hey, Father, in the name of Jesus, whether it is lack of strength, whether whatever it is that is containing us, whether it's ill health, whatever is contending against us, and in our, in our moments, oh God, may your birth and oh Lord, we pray that according to your word, when you bring us to bed, surely you give us the strength to bed. When you bring us to that place, Surely your hand will be with us. When we have come to that place, surely angels will be on an assignment for us. When we have come to that place, surely God you will be there to cause us to deliver. So this day, as we travel in prayer for the birthing of visions, for the birthing of the will of God on our life, for the birthing of God, of ministries, for the birthing of God, of businesses, for the birthing of God, we pray. In the name of Jesus, manifest your power, manifest your might, manifest yourself in our lives. For your presence, oh God, is always with us. Manifest yourself. For we serve a living God. We serve a mighty God. We serve a God whose ear is amen. We serve a God, Malek Abraham, whose ears are attentive to the cry of his people. Father, that is the God that we serve. My Father, my maker, as our voices are, by reason of covenant, is registered in the realms of the spirit, cause the heavens of God to roll every dark cloud of our heads, to roll anything of God that will prevent us from accessing in the realms of the spirit, in the mighty name of Jesus, and unveil yourself unto us, cause our eyes to see vision, cause us to experience the supernatural, cause us to bear the supernatural, we are ready, O oh God, we are ready. Oh God, we are standing in a place of God where we are ready to bed. We are ready to bed as we travel in prayer. God, in the name of Jesus, that business idea is bad. That ministry is bad. We decree and declare that purpose is bad. We decree and declare that drought situation, uh, that wilderness situation, uh, it has become a harvest school place. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, little has become bountiful. There is an increase uh, in the realms of the spirit uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, as angels have gone ahead of us, uh, they have gone forth for us. Uh, we pray, God, uh, let there be ascension, uh, an ascension of angels uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, as they ascend with our prayers, uh, may they descend with our hands. Uh, Father, we serve a living God uh, as we stand on this altar uh, and this place of prayer upon Mount Zion. Uh, there shall be deliverance, uh, there shall be holiness. Uh, and the sons uh, and the daughters uh, of ICP, the sons uh, and the daughters uh, of your sanctuary, we shall see your fullness, uh, we shall see your grace, uh, we shall see your power, we shall experience your might uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, by the power of the most high God, uh, may our feet uh, in this season uh, be dipped in oil, uh, may we know no lack uh, in this 
season now empower our soul God with divine ideas sir, to break forth divine ideas sir, to break through divine ideas sir, to make wealth divine ideas sir, to step into the business sir, divine ideas sir, to start the ministry divine ideas sir, for the next level may that oil of creativity fall upon our lives sir, like never before in the name of Jesus sir. Lord as we travel May we better, we create the clay. Maya kaboe, aya baye baba baba, man celebrate kaba baba, he kaba baba, man celebrate kaba baba. That vision is better. I pray that the vision that is lying dormant in my life, every seed receive. Man celebrate kaba baba, I celebrate kaba baba. The nourishment of God, man say get a labra ha, man celebrate kaba baba, man celebrate kaba baba. Let every sleeping giant rise. Let every sleeping giant rise. In the season, I decree and declare that I am bending every word of prophecy upon my life. Our Father Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, only Kabos, Sekebeha, Mama, 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 Hey, I can feel the contractions. Make Baraba, Make Lebrebaha, Make Baya Braha, Make Kabaraba, Make Baya Baba, Hey, Kabaraha, Let there be a shift. Bring a shift in our lives and place us right where He wants us to be. By the power of the Most High God, we decree and declare, according to the Word of God, concerning our lives, that we have stepped into the fullness of Christ. We have stepped into a place that God wants and intends for us to be. We decree and declare that we have stepped into our Rehoboth. We have stepped into a land of blessings. We have stepped into a place of more than enough. We are positioning ourselves to stay. Male kabara baha, man celebreha. E kabaya baha, man celebreha. Ma kate ya braha, ma kabaya braha. E ya braha baha, e kabaya baha. E ya bara baha, e ya kabaya baha. E ya kabaya baha, e ya kabaya baha. E ya kabaya baha, e ya kabaya baha. E ya kabaya baha, e ya kabaya baha. E kabaya baha, baba sekete ya. You wanna pray that a release of fresh oil, a release of fresh man. You wanna pray for the release of fresh. For the next season, fresh oil, and decree and declare by the word of the most high God. I see people coming and they are rejoicing with us. They are rejoicing with us because our miracles have been birthed. They are rejoicing with us because we have come into a season of fulfillment. They are rejoicing with us because we have come into a season where God, the blessings of God, is manifested because. They are rejoicing with that because that seed has been birthed. That miracle has been birthed. That breakthrough has been birthed. That which you believe in God for, it has been birthed. In the mighty name of Jesus. Makabo sekete, masika tayabaha, ey pantala brabaha, leka baria mamaha, ey. You want to lift those hands onto the heavens, fresh wind of God. Blow in the midst of your children, fresh winds of God. Blow in the midst of your children in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Let there be a release in the realms of the spirit according to your word by the power of the most high God. Begin to desire for the supernatural. Say, Father, you want to speak forth in the name of Jesus, oh Lord. Let your supernatural hand rest upon me this day. I don't want to leave your presence the same in the mighty in the name of Jesus, oh God, Holy Spirit, let there be a move in your sanctuary. Father, move amongst us in the season in the mighty name of Jesus. Let there be a supernatural birth, oh God. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, let your angels be positioned right, oh Father, as we stand to birth that which you have placed within us. We call for every sleeping giant to rise up now. In the name of Jesus, let every gift and every talent, every 
everything, every seed your place in us that is lying dormant. We call it to rise. We call it to rise up right now in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. We refuse, oh God, may to rest in the season until we have breath our miracles, until we have better our vision, until we have better which are placed upon our lives in the mighty name of Jesus. Masika Basentela, Leka Barabra Kabaha, in the name of Jesus, oh God, Maleka Bosikabe, Leka Barababa, Mantele Brekabaha, Mantele Brekabaha, Ega Braba Kabo, Spread of the Most High God, Mantele Brekabaha, begin to touch the lives of your people, begin to touch the lives of your children, Mantele Brekabaha, let there be a paradigm shift, oh God, Masekatea, let there be a supernatural shift, oh God. For some of you, uh, the fire labo seketea, the fire of the Holy Ghost is being released upon you. It will come as a burning sensation. Uh, the fire of the Holy Ghost uh, is quickening. Uh, it's coming for a quickening. It's quickening for your next level. Uh, God is calling you to rise up. Uh, God is calling you to shift yourself from that place. Uh, it's coming as a frustration. Uh, it's coming as uncomfortability. Yes, it is coming. It says, Thou shalt rise up and stand in prayer. Rise up and stand in prayer and travel to you seal my vision and travel to you seal that which I want to birth in you and travel in the mighty name of Jesus. Make a bow, say it As you travel in prayer, I see great things being birthed. As you travel in prayer, make a bow, say it to Hey, make a bow, say it to Man, celebre by Abaha. Hey, Cabo Riba Baha. Man, celebre Baha. Hey, Cabo Yebre Baha. Power of the most. God, in the name of Jesus, oh God, in the same season, oh Father, in the same season, oh Father, Maleka Bo Seke Breha, Makabora Braba Kabaha, Eka Parabaha, we decree and declare that our voices shall travel to the nations, oh God, we decree and declare in the season, oh Father, that we shall see the divine manifestation of your word in the name of Jesus, Makabaya, Makabaya Breha, Makabaya Baha, in the name of Jesus. Amos chapter 3 verse 7. Surely the Lord God does nothing unless he reveals his secret to his servant, the prophet. You are the servant of the Most High God. He says, surely, the Lord God, he does nothing unless he reveals his secret. So, Father, reveal your secret to me in this season. Whatever you are doing, Lord Jesus, let it be made clear to me in this season. Let your secrets be revealed to me. Grant me strategies for my next level. In the name of Jesus, begin to pray. Say, Father, open down my eyes and reveal deep things unto me. I am ready, God, as I stand in your presence, as I stand in your sanctuary, as I stand here, God. Let my eyes be revealed, Lord. Let my eyes begin to see the secret of the Lord. In this season, whatever you are doing, God, do not pass me by. I pray in this season that you position me right, oh God, oh, to experience the move of God upon the earth realm in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray by the power of the Most High God Malika Bo Sekebea Hey, even as your secret was revealed to Daniel even as he was able to interpret a dream of God by the supernatural intervention this day God, there is nothing impossible with the God that we serve as we come to you in faith and as we connect our faith with you we pray by the power of the Most High God in the name of Jesus Oh God, Maleka Barehe, deep things in your word, deep things in the spirit, the things of the spirit, let them be revealed unto us. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, increase our mental capacity, increase our spiritual capacity to be able to receive that which you have given to us, to receive that which you are bringing to us, to receive that which you have for us in this season. We refuse to give up, we refuse to let go. We will stand, oh God, unwavering in our faith and trust. 
pastor. In this season, by the power of the Most High God, remember your children, remember your people. Galin Kabose, let our ears be open, let our spiritual ears be open. That when you speak, we hear. And God grant us a heart of obedience to obey your word, to walk in your presence, to walk in your will, to walk in your word by the power of the Most High God. Ayabara, <laughs> We want to do something prophetic. Please, if you can and you can stand up for me. You want to place those two hands upon your stomach? You want to place those two hands? And every word of prophecy, you know the things that God has spoken to you in your secret place. You want to begin to wage a good warfare in the mighty name of Jesus. You want to begin to wage a good warfare. You want to begin to pray by the power of the Most High God. You want to pray. You want to pray with the word of God concerning your life. You want to speak for that word of God. That in this season, in the name of Jesus, you will begin to bear that prophetic word. It shall surely come to pass. Even though everything around you does not look like that, it shall surely come to pass. Begin to speak it forth in the name of Jesus. Begin to pray. Mali Kabaha, say, Father, as I step and as I wage a good warfare with that prophetic word upon my life, I pray, God, by supernatural intervention, let me be birthed. Hey, God, cause me to begin to see the manifestation of every word that you have spoken concerning my life. Begin to speak forth, begin to speak forth, begin to break. The waters are breaking, begin to speak it forth, it will break forth, it will break forth. They will no longer delay him. See as the Spirit of God, that time is now. That time is right. Malekabo sekeba. Makapo yebreha. Makapo telebrehe. In the mighty name of Jesus. Malekabraha. Makaboriaha. Malekabraha. 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 Eyakabaya. Eyakabaha. 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 In the realms of the spirit, we push out, we push out, we drink until we see the manifestation of your power, the manifestation of the supernatural, of the prophetic word, and the seed that he will place in us all by the power of the most high God. Now finally we want to pray for the church ICP that every vision, every word of prophecy 
that has been incubated over the years, we want to call it forth to begin to manifest in this season uh, the word of God concerning the church, the word of God concerning the people. We want to begin to pray. We want to travel and stand in the gap. We are the church and the body of Christ. We want to pray and begin to travel now in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, pray for expansion. Pray for increase. Let's begin to pray in the mighty name of Jesus. Pray for divine strategy. Pray for the leadership in the name of Jesus. Uh, that the hand of God uh, would be strong upon their lives. Uh, that the hand of God uh, would be revealed. Uh, that deep things would be revealed to the leadership. Uh, in the mighty name of Jesus. Uh, divine strategy is moving forward. Uh, we pray by the power of the most high God. Father, this is your church, oh God. Uh, this is your church, oh God. Uh, we just allow uh, any devices of the enemy to penetrate, oh God. Not to cause any more In the name of Jesus. Father Lord, by reason of the vision of ICP, we are here. By reason of the vision of God, we have a place to sit and fellowship. Let the vision grow. Let the vision increase. Let the vision expand. In the name of Jesus, anything in the womb of time, every word of prophecy, every blessing of God, every Every word spoken uh, in the womb of time, uh, we decree and declare uh, it's birthing now. Uh, push it out. Uh, we push it out. Uh, we push it out uh, until we see the manifestation. We push it out uh, until we see the hand of God, uh, Matelaha, and the will of God uh, being manifested in the name of Jesus. Makabo seke, ale kabara, makapo yebrehe, makabo sehe, matalebrehe, makabaya baha, in the mighty name of Jesus, uh, Mali. Kabaha, I see people will flourish. Hey, Kabaya Brabaka, every member will flourish. Make Kabaya Baha as our year of multiplication. We decree and declare increase as come. We decree and declare divine multiplication. We decree and declare divine intervention. A supernatural shift like never before. In the name of Jesus, healing her miracles of God. Waliko Bo Setayaha, growth of God, man celebrate. Jesus, <laughs> you want to place your hand over anywhere you're believing God for healing I sense an atmosphere of healing Father we send forth your word to heal anyone that is unwell, anyone that is experiencing pain, 
anyone that is experiencing any form of sickness we rebuke every spirit of infirmity in the name of Jesus. lose them these are children of the most high in the name God of Jesus. set them free in the name of set Jesus. them loose in the mighty name of Jesus we decree and declare that anyone that is carrying a seed will never miscarry in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus as your word says uh, no one would miscarry any seed that they are carrying in the name or of Jesus. any blessing father in the name of Jesus we decree and declare that we have entered into a season of multiplication of we decree and declare we have entered into a season of the supernatural the that whatever we find our hands doing we shall see the divine manifestation of the word of God we shall see the divine manifestation of the hand of God we shall see the divine manifestation of the presence of God because of as his word says he will never leave us nor forsake us the Lord, he is good. In the name of Jesus. The Lord, he is mighty. Amen. The Lord, he is awesome. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus, go in the peace of God. Go with a mind of abundance. In the name of Jesus. And know that you shall know no lack in the season. Amen. And from here and forth in the name of Jesus. Amen. I pray that the little that you have will be multiplied. Amen. I pray that it shall become bountiful. In the, name in of the Jesus. mighty name of Jesus. I see you running. I see you running. There is a divine speed that is being released. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. There is a divine speed that is released. In the name of Jesus. Every delay is giving way. Every stagnation is giving way. Somebody I hear the spirit of God say you are stuck in your past uh, and you are spraying around uh, today we pray and break every voice of the past uh, anything that is holding you uh, any limitation uh, any hold uh, we untie you and we lose you uh, into the purpose of God uh, into your next season uh, and the next dimension that God has for you God may your voice be audible in, the name of in our Jesus. ears grant us a heart of obedience to walk in your ways in the season we thank you for your man servant, oh God. Let your hand rest upon him. We pray, let the vision go bigger. We pray, Lord Jesus, preserve his life. Protect him, oh God, and his family. Lord, may your name alone be glorified in this season. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, hallelujah. We want to give a clap offering unto Jesus, hallelujah. We thank God, hallelujah. We give God praise, hallelujah. As we go along, we want to maintain the supernatural through prayer. We want to stay connected to God. Hallelujah. That whatever he has begun, him alone is faithful to bring it to completion. In Jesus' name. We want to take our offering now. We want to make our offering as we come. Bible says we should give cheerfully. We want to give unto the Lord. This is our worship. You want to prepare your offering. For those online, you have the details there. You want to support the ministry we're doing a law project you want to support us our orphanage we all want to support us for our outreach ministries that we have around the world may the lord bless you as the lord touches your heart we pray that you support us in the mighty name of jesus father we bless you we give you praise and we give you honor as the offering bowl go around Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We thank you for this opportunity in your presence. The opportunity to give. The opportunity to give. In the name of Jesus, we give you glory. Your word says give, and it shall be given back unto us. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together. Shall you cause men to give unto our bosom. Father, as we give, in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Lord, let your word manifest in our lives like never before in the name of jesus we pray for the grace even for those who are unable to who wish to do but they don't have the means we pray let your hand rest upon them and remember them in this season we pray that wherever there is lack god we pray for supernatural provision in the name of jesus those who are believing you for jobs we command those doors to open those who are believing you for doors to be open in any area of their lives father lord as doors are being opened in the realms of the spirit we pray that they will stay open in the name of jesus by the power of the most high god we thank you for the business doors that are opening we thank you oh god for the divine